sun is rising high up over Terry Town. Friends taking off and friends touching down. And that's where you'll find that one of a kind, JJ. JJ the jet plane. That's me. There's never been another little guy like this. So much in love with the sky like this. So buckle up tight. It's a magical flight with JJ. Before Christmas and all through the airport, not a creature was stirring, except for three little planes who were having the best time of their lives. Yes, JJ, Tracy, and Snuffy were all abuzz with excitement. They were eagerly awaiting the arrival of Santa Claus. JJ, do you think Santa will like the tree I picked out? Do you, huh? I'm sure he will, Snuffy. See how beautiful it looks? Hey, guys, how do I look? I want to look my best for Santa. Wow, you look great, Tracy. Yeah, great. Guys, guys, guess what? Hi, Herky, what's up? I was just over at Brenda's, and she heard on the radio that there's a storm coming in. A snowstorm! A, a snowstorm! Yes, a snowstorm was on its way, and the young planes were excited. It seemed like a nice snowfall was going to make this the best Christmas Eve ever. There was only one slight problem. Instead of a nice, light snowfall, what arrived in Terrytown that Christmas Eve was a big, windy snowstorm. Oh, this is terrible! I think I waited too long to send my Christmas list to Santa Claus. And now, with the storm, my list will never get to him. Santa will never know what I wanted. What about us? We wanted to stay up all night and meet Santa Claus. And now, I don't think he'll make it to Terrytown. Look at my poor, poor Christmas tree. Now Santa will never see how pretty it was. Well, I do declare, I have never seen anything like this before. Sad children on Christmas Eve? Why, there ought to be a law against that. But Savannah, our Christmas Eve is ruined. Look at all that snow. JJ, snow can't ruin a Christmas Eve. Why, honey, snow can be a part of what Christmas Eve is all about. Really? Of course it can. When it snows outside, you just hug the one next to you to get wonderfully warm and cozy-like. <laughs> and you do something nice and cheery to make yourself feel warm and happy inside. Like what? Well, like sing a Christmas carol. Ooh, ooh. Uh, can, can I start the carol this time? Sure, go for it, Snuffy. Dashing through the snow In a white horse open sleigh Sounds fun! O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way Ha ha ha! Bells on bobtail ring Making spirits bright What fun it is to ride And sing a sleigh song tonight Oh! Jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Yes, it turned out to be a fun night after all. But the snowstorm didn't stop, and that was causing all kinds of strange problems. One of those problems was happening right at that moment in Brenda Blue's workshop. Brenda had gotten an emergency message for old Oscar. Oscar, I heard it loud and clear. At first, I couldn't believe it, but then he said his name and... Well, listen, I'll patch it in over my radio. Listen for yourself. 
This is Santa Claus. I repeat, this is Santa Claus. I, I must speak to Oscar at Tarrytown Airport. Come in, Oscar. Is that really Santa Claus? Yep. By golly, I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Hey there, Santa Claus. It's me, Oscar. Oh, Oscar, my good friend. I need your help. Uh, what's wrong, old buddy? Well, I have a big problem with one reindeer sick. There's no way I can make all my Christmas deliveries tonight. Well, what can we do for you? I was wondering if you and the planes there in Terrytown might help me make my Christmas deliveries tonight. Why, sure. We could, except for one thing. There's a snowstorm out there. We're all grounded here. <laughs> That's no problem at all. I'll just call my friend Jack Frost and have that blizzard turned off. I always use that trick on Christmas Eve so that I can get around with no problem. Oh, that's great! Then we can all hit the sky! True to his word, Santa arranged for the snowstorm to stop. Then the planes at Tarrytown Airport took off for the North Pole. This was going to be an exciting adventure indeed. The planes flew a long, long way, and finally... The North Pole! I can't believe we're actually here, Tracy! How did you know the way, Oscar? I always thought Santa's home was a secret. Well, it is, Tracy, but uh, since I'm his friend, I know how to find it. Look, up ahead! There it is! Yes, it really was Santa's workshop. This was where Santa made all his toys. All right now, everybody get ready. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Wait for me. Well, let's take a look now and see exactly who's been naughty or nice. <laughs> uh, excuse me there, Santa, old buddy. Well, who have we here? If it isn't my old friend Oscar, how are you, my boy? Oh, I'm just fine. And I brought a few of my friends here to meet you. Hi, Mr. Claus. I'm JJ. I'm Tracy. I'm Ricky. And I'm Snuffy. <laughs> I know who you all are. And you've been very, very good this year. We were awfully sorry to hear about your sick reindeer, Santa. But I'm happy to finally meet you. This is what I've wanted more than anything. Me too, Santa. Oh, I already knew that, Tracy and Herky. And I'm glad to be giving you what you want for Christmas. And, JJ, I just wanted you to know I did get your wish list. You did? That's terrific! But send it in just a little earlier next time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Santa. <laughs> And Snuffy. Yes, Santa? I saw that beautiful Christmas tree that you picked out. You did a very nice job. Gosh, thanks. No, oh, thank you. Thank you all for being very special helpers tonight and helping me get these presents delivered. Now, are you ready? Ready! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Christmas is my very favorite day. Mine too. But I never thought we'd celebrate this way. They say that it's better to give than to receive. I guess we'll find that out this Christmas Eve. We're Santa's little helpers, spreading Christmas cheer. I'm JJ. I'm Tracy. We're Jet Plays, not Reindeer. We've been asked to do a task, and we will get it done. We're Santa's little helpers. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. We're Santa's little helpers with packages of toys.
After a long night of deliveries, the planes returned home to Terrytown Airport. They were tired, but very, very happy. I was so busy having fun delivering presents that I forgot all about getting one myself. I guess it was more fun giving Santa our help than getting presents from him, huh? You know, it really was. I'm never going to worry about my Christmas wish list again. Just being Santa's helper was the best present I could have ever gotten. Yeah, and we got to meet Santa Claus for real. And he liked my Christmas tree. I think we all did pretty well this Christmas, and we haven't even opened our presents yet. Yeah. Um, there's just one thing, though. What, JJ? If we planes delivered all the presents to Terrytown, then who delivered our presents? Whoa! Merry Christmas, guys. Looks like I got those gifts to you just in time. Rabbit, rabbit! rabbit. Boy, it sure was fun helping Santa Claus, but uh, there's only one teeny tiny eatsy weetsy little problem. What? You gotta get me down from here! Whoa! Hey! Well, they did manage to get Rev and Evan down. Then they had the best Christmas day ever, full of fun, friendship, and giving. It was a Christmas they'd never, ever forget. To fly away with JJ and all of his friends at Terrytown Airport, join us at pbskids.org for takeoff.